what's that Rachel Hollis quote again? Oh, that's right. With great power comes great responsibility. (laughs) Just kidding, she didn't say that, but she probably said she did. Anyway, I say that quote because today's video, we are gonna be shifting our focus from the everyday neighborhood hun that we know and love, and instead, we're gonna be focusing our efforts on celebrity huns. Believe it or not, a lot of people we're gonna look at in today's video Um, I have been in major movies, they've been on TV shows and Netflix shows, they are married to hugely famous celebrities. So yeah, these are not your regular average Joe Hunts, okay? We're we're dealing with the big stuff here. (laughs) These people have a lot of followers, they have a lot of influence, and in today's video we might have to do a wellness check on their PR team because I don't know if they have a pulse. (laughs) This might be one of the worst PR moves, in my opinion, uh, when it comes to celebrities, would be aligning your brand with a brand that is known to exploit and cause hundreds of thousands of people to go into crushing debt. Also, aligning yourself with a brand that is synonymous with being a pyramid scheme is just not the way. That's like PR 101, don't do that. So yeah, we're gonna check into these people. We're gonna try to get to the bottom of it. So this one really stumped me, I'm not gonna lie. I, I started looking at this and I was like, why? Just why would a celebrity be involved in an MLM? It just, to me, doesn't make any sense. One of the conclusions I came to was that I don't think that this issue is a one size fits all answer for why all these celebrities are involved in it. I think that there's a couple different scenarios here that we're going to talk about, about why, you know, why certain people might be associated. Um, I think a lot of it is people that have newfound fame and they were in MLMs before, but then there are, on the other hand, people who have been famous for a majority of their life, or they've been famous for many, many years, and they're still associated with MLMs, and you're like, what the hell is going on? So the only thing I do know is the sooner they detach their name and disavow these types of companies, the better. As long as they associate themselves and their huge following to these things, the more people that will be hurt by them, and they just need to get out now. So hopefully, we can get the ball rolling here. So yeah, let's just take a deep dive, catfish style. Let's get to the computer, let's do some research, and we're gonna take a look at some of the people that you have sent me over the last few months. So the first person we're gonna take a look at is Kelly Chase. She's on season one of Netflix, Love is Blind, which is like this hugely popular show. I see everyone talking about it. I haven't watched it yet, but the premise of the show is interesting. I mean, do I think that it's a great way to meet somebody? No, Um, I don't think a show is the best way uh, at all. But anyway, so this girl is on Netflix, Love is Blind. Again, hugely popular. She shot up in followers, it seems, um, because she was getting like 400 likes on her post and it went up to like 20,000. And she's now verified and she has 317,000 followers, which is a lot of people. And I'm sure that'll only go up as more people hear about the show, blah, 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 right? So let's take a look at this. We can start by looking at her profile. She has season one Netflix, Love is Blind, and then she has health and empowerment coach. So I'm already thinking she's a beach body coach. And then I help women love their bodies, relationships, and career. For bookings slash biz, email me, and she's got this link tree. So let's visit the link tree link really quick. And she's got check me out on Netflix's Love is Blind. And then she has join the official Chase Life group with Kelly Facebook group, eat more, weigh less. And then 15% off your superfoods. Okay, so let's check out this join the Chase Life with Kelly Facebook group. Okay, so let's check this out. Work together one-on-one. If you are interested in speaking with me about how we can work together one-on-one, please contact me at Chase Life with Kelly. My coaching is for women who want to feel confident, sexy, and lose the stubborn weight for good. Um, by sharing your info, you'll become part of her Chase Life Fit Babe squad or something. Okay, here we go. This is the one. This is how, what proves she's on a team beach buddy. So this link takes her to us to the 21 Day Fix, 21 Day Fix Extreme Bod Shakeology Pack. Um, it costs $180. So yeah, well, there we go. We have proof she is indeed a beach body coach. So posts like this <laughs> are definitely ones that give our dead giveaway pretty much that this is a beach body coach. This is like what they all do. It's like the classic beach body post. Somebody doing one of those faces holding food up and you're like, why'd you take that? It's like very corny. So anyway, so she makes the announcement um, January 30th and she got 800 likes. So that's when she announces she's on Love is Blind. So then you can tell she starts to get more and more likes. Tons and tons of likes. So here is her post. It says, 
What a ride. Thank you from the bottom of my heart for your love, support, kindness, understanding, and compassion for me on Love is Blind. Thank you to the cast members, blah, 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 blah. I took a leap of faith, faced many fears, cried many tears, blah, 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 okay. It says, it is now your time to take a leap of faith, face your fears, cry the tears, and discover the most radiant love that's already inside of you. I hope that you'll continue to follow my journey simply because everything I do is for the good of all people. I will leave this earth one day saying, Kel, what an incredible life. I'm proud of you. Um, and more importantly, I want you to say that same about yourself because it's time to become a better you. Chase life. If you're seeking change, serious about calling in more happiness and joy into your life by working on your fitness nutritional overall health and well-being they want to become a hashtag chase life fit babe join my facebook community link in bio so that is to join her beach body group so here's what i think is going on here obviously she's found newfound fame this is like january 30th and her life has completely changed overnight and now she's at like all, has all these followers and all these likes on her posts and all these eyes are on her and she's getting a lot of DMs and things are probably pretty easy for her right now in her business, right? However, it has always raised a red flag with me when people continue to be in the business and they see so much success and especially like the higher up you go, the more red flags are raised to me because eventually when you are so successful you see a lot of cycles happening the same cycle over and over to be more specific and that cycle is people joining the business losing money then they leave and it's a high turnover so you're seeing all these people do this after you promised them financial freedom and they never got that so it's just concerning to me on a personal level when people do that and kind of like a moral level. So obviously by her last post, you saw it was a very popular post. She knew a lot of people would engage with it. She used that as an opportunity to recruit more people to her beach body business. Unfortunately, in her case, you know, she had kind of two ways that she could have gone and you always hope that these kind of people will go one way and then she chose the way that you didn't want her to go. The best way in my opinion is, is okay, you have all this newfound success, all these followers, um, if you have that many followers, you can get really big brand deals from that. And like, especially at the, the height of your popularity, which is right now after the show, you can get a ton of sponsors once you have a huge following like that, especially on Instagram. It's very easy. It's like all you do is post one time and you can get like $3,000, $4,000 a pop. So you would hope that those people would transition away from Beachbody and away from a predatory business model and just start working with brands that don't have that. It's just an easy process where people can buy stuff and they don't have to join and become part of this whole mess, right? I also want to take a look at her Instagram stories just to see what, what's going on. Hey guys, what's up? Sorry I've been so MIA on the gram today, but I will be back in biz um, over the next few days. Um, but just diligently working. I have some sales goals to meet at work. And um, otherwise, I want to follow up with all of your messages. Um, for those of you who have sent me DMs about your health, um, love lives, career, that kind of thing, body image, confidence issues, um, I will be following up with you as soon as I can, so please be patient with me. Um, but you can also join my Facebook group, um, Chase Life with Kelly, and uh, the link is in the bio, but I'll also add the link here so you can swipe up and uh, join that group. It's for ladies only, um, but we'll dive a lot deeper into all that in there as well. Um, and then anyone who has actually emailed me, I am also trying to follow up with that as soon as possible too. So please know that I am very busy, um, but I, you are very important and I am trying to get to you as soon as I can. So love you and I will follow up soon. Hey guys, what's up? Happy Wednesday. Happy hump day. If you're in the other part of the world, happy Thursday. Um, I went to the chiropractor, which she's amazing, Dr. Carolina with the Wellness Collection. I love you. And um, if you have not joined my, ladies, if you have not joined my private Facebook coaching community, please hop inside of there. there we are almost 1,500 strong. Um, we're going to be doing a challenge coming up soon, like fitness, health, uh, nutrition, self-care, self-love, all related. So definitely make sure that you're inside of that group. Um, just swipe up and you can join. And yeah. I it's a disappointment because these people love you and they look up to you and they would, a lot of these people would do anything to just talk to you and one-on-one -on -one and get to know you because they liked your personality or it was like, you know, whatever it was. And 
she's using it in this way and it's just irresponsible honestly i mean she's obviously roped in now 1500 women she said into her group another problem with just with beach body in general is they kind of portray themselves as their these health and wellness coaches but the inherent problem with beach body is that there's a natural capacity to fitness training like one-on-one -on -one coaching and to coaching in general, like you can't have that many people in a group and be able to get to everybody. You're not really helping people and these people aren't even really gonna be able to talk to you um, if not just the first interaction where you're taking their money from them and getting them signed up, but just unfortunate. She seems like a nice person, but if she grows anymore, I would probably advise her to get somebody like a PR person or an agent and or a manager and they can find her other deals. Like when you have this big of a following, you can start to get a lot of bigger deals, you know. Sometimes you have to think too, like do these people go on these shows because they want to get famous so then they it'll be an easy ride for them with their MLM recruiting. You know, it kind of seems more disingenuous, I think overall for the show. I, I honestly, I don't think people who who are casting shows, they should make sure that these people are not associated with MLMs before they go on because then stuff like this happens and because eventually it makes the show look bad because it looks like people are just kind of going on there for fame reasons. Again, I didn't watch the show, but it, it kind of plants that seed back there. You're like, okay, did she just want to show her MLM more? and make it easier and like be able to rope people in because she's famous now, you know, ugh, sky's the limit. <laughs> so the next celebrity we're gonna take a look at is Jenna Boyd. She is on the show currently, the Netflix show Atypical, where she is the girlfriend of the autistic main character. Um, so yeah, I haven't watched the show, but anyway, I, I wanted to look up more about her. Her Wikipedia page says that she was cast in The Missing alongside Kate Blanchett and Evan Rachel Wood, and she also was in Sisterhood of the Traveling Pants where she played the leukemia suffering Bailey Grafman. I didn't see that movie, but again, huge movie. These are really big roles, um, especially the one now, Atypical is like huge. It's been renewed, I think, for a third season. So um, this is a big one. It turns out that she is a Rodin and Fields consultant. So let's take a look at her Instagram and try to verify that she is indeed a Rodin Fields consultant. I'm currently on her profile. This is what her, she has 239,000 followers. That's a lot of followers. So she's an actress, Christ follower, business owner. Okay, red flag. Um, INTJ, I think that's probably her, I think that's a personality test. And then I don't know what 1W9 is. And then Slytherin. So let's take a look. She's got the very classic red flag <laughs> things to look for when you're on somebody's page. She's got her highlights, but one of them is business. So when I see business, <laughs> I'm like, oh God, here we go. Um, so let's take a look at that. I get asked this question all the time and honestly y'all it seems like it should be so much more complicated than it is but what you see me doing sharing about this company sharing about these products is what I do. It just isn't a lot more complicated than that. But I tell people this all the time. The goal here is not to convince people to get skincare that they don't want or to be part of a business and our team if they don't want to be a part of it. That is not the goal. That's salesy and I have zero interest in being salesy. But listen, there's a lot of people that want help with their skin and there's a lot of people that would be open to some additional income. And so our job is to share this opportunity as a really great solution to both of those things. That's it. I get this question a lot and it kind of relates to this one. There are no quotas. There's no inventory. You can run your business entirely from your phone. If that was not the case, there's no way I'd be doing it. That's not necessarily true, by the way. You do, when they say no quotas or no inventory, um, you are required though, if you want to be remain active in any of these companies, you have to order a certain amount of personal volume per month. So that's not true. These people say that and it's not true. It's just not true. Well, first of all, um, I started my Rodan and Fields business so that I could keep pursuing my acting career without having to worry about finances. Um, you know, when we're between seasons on a show, that's called unemployed. And I didn't want to be unemployed, but I wanted something super flexible. <laughs> So um, that's why I started my business is because I wanted a consistent stream of income where I can live and give the way that I want to and still live my dream. And when I'm on set, those days can be super busy, uh, but oftentimes I'm working my business from my phone between takes, quite literally, or in the makeup chair, in my trailer, whatever. If I have my phone, I can work my business. 
super easy. Uh, we'll probably have a conversation about, you know, what other questions you have exactly. Uh, and then beyond that, we get you set up with a business kit. And then I start working directly with you, coaching you to launch your business. So this is one of the problems I have. It's like these people, they see their favorite actress and they would love more than anything to just talk to them. And the only way that they're going to be able to talk to somebody like that is if they inquire about their business. Otherwise, this person's not going to respond and just talk to you because you're a big fan. Like, that's not how it works. So it's just so sad and kind of predatory and just ick. Here's the other thing. So she admitted she wants to just work stuff when she's not working on a show or whatever. But her working the business in between shows and stuff is not, it, that's, her life is not going to look like what your life looks like. If you're a normal everyday person, you're not a freaking huge actress or whatever, you haven't been on all these movies and shows, you don't have a huge following, you're not going to make these sales. You're not going to be able to have a livable income. We already went through the Rodin Infields income disclosure statement and only a percentage of them were even making a livable wage. Only like 0.5% percent. How is that a great business opportunity? So while it might work for her, it's only because she's got a big following it, and she's probably been in Ronin Fields for a while. So it just, it's not the same thing. You can't look at somebody like this and be like, oh, I can make all this money and it's so easy. And she's doing takes in her chair. It's like, it doesn't work the same way. And it's dishonest to, to kind of portray it like you'll have the similar uh, experience. Totally normal that you don't know what would be best for you. Uh, that's why in my skincare highlights, actually, um, I have a quiz for you to take where the doctors themselves will actually tell you what would be best for you. So go ahead and do that and then screenshot it to me and I can help get you set up. Yeah, so it says she's in the top 2%. Yeah, she's the number 13 consultant. Okay, so she started off with around 2,000 followers. She said, uh, two years into her business. Oh my god, she went to Pepperdine. Pepperdine is the best school. I wish I could go there. I like wanted to go there so bad. It's amazing. That's where they filmed Zoe 101. I'm so freaking jealous. But anyway, yeah, so she said she had 2,000 followers. Two years into her business. One year later, I was top 2% of the company. However, she's been a child actress. It says though on her Wikipedia that she was discovered at age two in a modeling search. And she began her career at age three. She appeared on Barney and Friends, blah, blah, blah. So she's been an actress all of her life. So it's not, again, it's not the same. Like, not the same. <laughs> I honestly love this question because I, it's just a situation of where people genuinely don't know the difference. So let me explain something to you. A pyramid scheme is, first of all, illegal. And second of all, a pyramid scheme involves buying into a concept where there's no exchange of products. Like, obviously, that's not what Rodan and Fields is. The majority of the business we do has nothing to do with consultants and everything to do with people wanting the products. So is this multi-level marketing? Absolutely. Is it a pyramid scheme? Literally could not be farther from what it is. We did a video on this already, but again, just because something's illegal doesn't mean that it's not happening. So not a great argument. Let's not say that anymore. And it's not literally the farthest thing from it. It's actually the closest thing to it, if not the same thing. But this girl can obviously follow a script because this is what they all say. Absolutely. And I've answered this question or I've talked about this on here before, and I will show you some screenshots of things I've posted in the past that show that you do not need followers to be successful. In fact, I did not have followers, you know, when I had reached some major success in my, in my business. But having said that, y'all, I have so many friends in this business, dear friends of mine that have a fraction of the followers I do. And they are exponentially more successful than the only way that that is true is these people got in before her and they're probably above her and maybe even recruited her and then they're making money off of all of her sales i am like they earn an insane paycheck that's exponentially higher than mine so followers are not what make you successful but one other thing that i think is important to note is that i i really think that people look at how flexible this is and how simple this is because it is could not possibly be simpler but they look at those things and think oh wow this is going to be easy like this is gonna I'm gonna be rolling in money and this is gonna be really easy like 
no, nobody ever said that. Um, in fact, that's a huge mistake to just assume that. It's kind of weird that she said that because she did kind of insinuate that in earlier slides. She was like, I literally work this like while, while I'm at the chair. Like as long as I have my phone, I can work this. Like I, I work it in between, literally in between takes. I, get, I don't think people are doing that. I mean, how long does it take? You know what I'm saying? I don't know, I've never been on a set. If anyone wants to invite me on a set, I would love to go. Thank you so much. But anyway, she, she's kind of portraying like, oh, it's so easy. Do it from your phone, anywhere you are, blah, blah, blah. And then she's like, it's not easy. But for somebody like this, it is simple. And it's one of the reasons why I suspect celebrities get involved in these in the first place. It's because it is mind-numbingly easy to recruit people who already love you. And it's so easy to tap into what we talked about last week, the cold market the people that you don't know, you have access to all these people who are just falling over themselves because they just want to be able to talk to you and interact with you. So it is easy for her. It's not going to be easy for you. And it's going to be very mind-numbingly simple and easy for somebody like this. This is not easy. You know, I have worked hard to build my business. Has it been worth it every single step of the way? Absolutely. Have I worked a lot less hard than people that have to show up nine hours a day and report to someone else? Absolutely. Am I rewarded a lot, you know, in, in like the most ridiculous and glamorous ways that, you know, people would have to work 40 years for? Yes. Oh, and that's the amazing thing is that I didn't have to do the hard work of inventing these amazing products that are now number one in all of North America. I basically get to coattail the people that are smart enough to do that and tell other people about it and get paid for it. Read it and weep. Back again to answer some questions before I jump on a training with my team. Uh, but first of all, LOL at being famous. That just, that is just so not true. But with the little no- So humbling. She's so humble. Oh my God. <laughs> You're famous. You're Famous. You are famous. You are, by society's standards, famous. By everyone's definition, you are famous. You've been in huge movies, worked with huge people. You're on a current show that many people watch on Netflix, which most people own. You're famous. Notoriety that I do have. That has not got me where I am in my business. When I had like 1,200 followers, I was at the top 2% of the company already. Listen, I just think that there's a huge population of people out there that are super misinformed as to what multi-level marketing is. I think that they think it's synonymous with pyramid scheme and like that it just could not be further from the truth. And I've said this once and I'll say it again. A pyramid scheme is the exchange of money without the exchange of products. Rodan and Fields is obviously not that because 60% of our revenue comes from just products alone. Don't make me pull up the income disclosure statement. Don't make me do it. Do not make me do it. I will do it. I'll, I'll do it. You want me to do it? Okay. Guess what? Your pyramid scheme, nobody here is misinformed except for you. Okay. I'll write a movie about that. So now that we know that those two things are not the same, um, you still might not want to be a part of something that's multi-level marketing and that's totally fine, but it's a legitimate business model that is not to be discounted and it's genuinely changing people's lives. So anyway, let's just take a look at her Instagram while we're here. Why not? Um, after we watched like a thousand of those stories, but she's posting a lot of pictures of like her and in front of the trailer, which is very cool. Like the actor life, actress life is very cool. And I think a lot of people just think that it's so awesome and like they're working on a show and they like to follow their favorite actress. She got 67,000 likes on this picture. Oh my God. Um, so she's definitely famous. I mean, come on guys. This is huge. She's at a Netflix like talk or whatever. It's just crazy. It's like, what if you saw this and you were like, that's your favorite show and your favorite actress and you just connected to that person, you saw them doing this and you wanted to be like them. There's a lot of actresses that you watch. Like for me, I, everybody makes fun of me because I love Lauren Conrad. I watched The Hills for the first time as an adult and I just, I love Lauren Conrad. I wanted, I wanted to work at Vogue after that. So it's just like when you see somebody you love and you connect with, it's just, it sucks. I wish that she would just do anything else. Like I wish she would take sponsorships. I wish she would take 
you know, deals or whatever because they're there. Like, there are so many companies that would just be knocking down somebody's door with this many followers and this kind of following that is so dedicated and active and engaged and they're real, you know? And they would love to sponsor somebody like this. It's like, why don't you just do that? It's so much simpler. It's more fun. It's dynamic. Anyway, you know, she seems like a nice person. I hope that the show goes well. I just wish that she would choose something else. But if you watch these shows, just make sure you know what you're looking for and don't get sucked in. If a celebrity is trying to get you part of their team, don't do it. <laughs> okay. Our final celebrity we're gonna look at today is by far the most famous one that we're gonna look at just in today's video. This one came as a shock to me and I'm so disappointed. I loved her, okay? So unfortunately, we're gonna be looking at Alexa Vega, okay? Also known as Carmen Cortez from Spy Kids. No, I know, it sucks, I know, it sucks. Yeah, she's been in so many shows, by the way. Like, I, it's the list goes on and on. Obviously, the biggest one was Carmen from Spy Kids. Like, come on, everybody watch that. Like, the best movie ever. Like, Junie? Junie Cortez? Come on. This is a huge star. I mean, she's been acting since she was so young, too. And we all pretty much know who she is. So anyway, unfortunately, she's with Young Living. So let's check out her Instagram. Let's get to the bottom of this. Somebody tipped me off that she was in Young Living, so I just want to make sure that she is. But, okay, let's just scroll here. We Stop it. Oh my God, I forgot she married the guy from Big Time Rush. Fuck that. Carlos, no. Oh my God, I love Big Time Rush. My whole family loves, my dad loves Big Time Rush. We love Big Time Rush. Just look up Big Time Rush and it's literally the best music ever made. Oh, fuck, this sucks. So she's married to somebody famous. This is insane. Let's just take a look here. So right now it just kind of looks like it's her living her life. I mean, doing her thing. She's a mom. She's married to Big Time Rush, extraordinaire. Okay, not seeing, oh, here we go. This looks like an oil. Yep, here we go. Okay, so it says, tis the season to bake and eat delicious yummies. Spice up your favorite yummies with a little at Young Living's Nutmeg Vitality, hashtag ad, it has sweet, spicy taste that gives me all the holiday feels. I like to think of these desserts as guilt-free because of all the goodness Nutmeg Vitality offers, immune support, health, cognitive function, powerful antioxidants, and more, and a little goes a long way. Now start cooking. How do you use your Young Living Nutmeg Vitality? Hashtag Young Living, hashtag Y-L-E-O. So we're put, oh my God. <laughs> And we're putting essential oils in food because why? <laughs> why are we doing that? And why are we not just using nutmeg? Okay, it's really, I can understand that it's like a, maybe a little bit more expensive spice. Like I didn't want to buy nutmeg a while ago, like three years ago, but you got to bite the bullet and just buy the fucking nutmeg, like buy it. But it's like, you're a celebrity. You can definitely afford nutmeg. Here's what makes this different than the last two that we looked at. She put hashtag ad in hers. And I've only ever seen that if it's like a paid post. So it makes me think that Young Living paid her to make this post and maybe she's not a consultant. We're gonna have to discover that later. But yeah, when you do a hashtag ad, like if you do a sponsorship, when they pay you a guaranteed fee or like a, a flat fee for a post, you have to put hashtag ad or hashtag spawn. I mean, she did get paid to make this. You wouldn't put that if you're a consultant. Obviously, then all the consultants in the world would have to do that, right? There's so many other brands out there that are looking to pay people for posts. Is your manager just not doing anything? Like, what is your manager doing? Just saying, yeah, let's do Young Living. So anyway, let's keep looking here. Let's see, what is this? Sleuthers? Oh my God, she's on Hallmark, that's right. I watched her in a Hallmark movie this Christmas. Um, is that the only Young Living post? I know that there's a little bit more to the story here. here. Oh, here's one. Citrus Fresh, you are too good to me. This is my current summer go-to Young Living essential oil. I literally use in, in and for everything. I put in my water, room spray, diffuser, laundry balls, and of course my smoothie. <laughs> I've been drinking the smoothie every morning since the last trimester of my pregnancy. Smoothie recipe below. Hashtag ad. Somebody said, I respect you trying to get that bag, but this company is a pyramid scheme that exploits new moms like you. 
Damn. Oh, here we go. So she's got some highlight tabs up here. It says oils. Everybody keeps asking about uh, all of our oils, so I'm putting a swipe up link onto where we got them from. And Sign yeah. Up. I'm just gonna swipe up really quick. Young Lion Virtual Office, enroll now, become a member. Get started, no thanks, step one. $165 is the lowest one. <gasps> oh my God. Everybody keeps asking about uh, all of our oils, so I'm putting a swipe up link onto where we got them from. And Sign yeah, up. Sign up! Sign join up! Join our, our team! It's really, join really fun! Our team! Let's go! We're, huh. the, we're the oil crew. What can I say? Huh. Okay, stop it right now because honestly, if somebody in Big Time Rush told me like five years ago before I knew what an MLM was to join their team, I'd be like, sign me the fuck up. Like, I love Big Time Rush. I'm disappointed. This is, this is really difficult for me, I'm not gonna lie. Swipe up, click member box. This allows you to join our team and save money. What's a get starter kit? That's all I use to make my own roller blends. So I'm kind of confused. I'm not sure if she's actually a consultant or if she's just doing the ads for them, but I'm almost thinking she might be a consultant too. Under eye blend. What? So yeah, that's, that's all I needed to see for that. So I'm wondering now if young living or like these companies pay certain celebrities to be distributors or act as distributors with the previous two i showed you those people they were in that before and then they just continued doing it because it's even easier now to recruit people but for somebody like this i think that she's being paid to i don't know if she's being paid to be a consultant and act as a consultant or if she's just doing the ads sometimes, if that was part of like the deal. I don't know what it is, but it's disappointing. It's so sad how these companies ex exploit people. And it's even more sad when it's celebrities who you know and you feel like you can trust, that you've loved and you've had like positive experiences with because they are in movies that are a part of your memories, your good memories, like Spy Kids, hello. And I don't want to look back at Spy Kids and have it be tainted by this kind of behavior and, and her aligning herself with this brand and, and inadvertently scamming people. It's just, it sucks. Like, But if you're a celebrity and you are promoting one of these things, there's absolutely no excuse. You have the time, resources, and money, and you have extra people that can look into these things for you. You should have a PR team, if you, especially if you're her. You know, you probably have a manager, and your husband probably has a manager. Somebody needs to reach out to these people and say, look, not a good business thing. People need to know about these things. People do know about these things. It's lazy to be a part of it. It's disappointing to a lot of people. So anyway, I'm gonna have to split this video into two parts because I have a ton more celebrities to go through. I thought I was gonna get some in this video, but I have like literally five or six more. So I'm gonna have to split this up into different parts, but this is part one. I hope you guys enjoyed. Again, send me any, if there's other celebrities, send them my way. I'll do some research. Hopefully we can raise awareness around this so other people don't get sucked in by their favorite favorite celebrity or singer or actress or whatever it is. Anyway, I will see you guys in my next video. Please like and subscribe if you like these kind of videos. I make a new anti-MLM video every single week and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!